Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys on how to unlock and get Lineage OS installed on our Arnold View 10 and Mate 10 Pro. And all of this is due to Project Treble. This is TK and this is XDA TV. This is the Mate 10 Pro and this is the View 10. I've already gone through and already updated Lineage OS on the View 10, so I've been running it for a few days now and I'm very happy with how smooth and how fast it is. Uh, the main thing I wanna to mention to you guys is that both these devices have the Kirin 970 support, so both of them are gonna be using the same exact process to flash this, uh, the Lineage OS build that we have. Now this is still an unofficial build, but keep in mind that very soon we'll have official support from there. Uh, the main thing you wanna keep in mind is that the process goes the exact same way for both of them, Unlocking the bootloader when we go through that step will wipe our device. So if you have any information on your device, any applications you want to back up, go through the process of backing up all of that information first before we even go through the step of unlocking it. Um, and as soon as you're done with that, once you unlock it, flashing the ROM should be pretty simple. And there's a little bit of a quirk that we need to go through to be able to get it to boot up for the first time. And I'll show that to you guys in the process. Let's go ahead and switch over to the PC and see how we can actually convert the Mate 10 Pro to run Lineage OS the same way we did the View 10. On our PC, you can follow the link that I'll give you guys in the description below to be able to get uh, the Lineage OS build that you're going to be running on your device. Now, there was an article posted on the portal by Michelle that details why we are so happy that we are able to do this now. But not only that, it also includes the process on how to do this, which is very, very simple. So the first thing we're going to go through, we'll get the code for the unlocking the device. And it also, this article states that this should work for both the Mate 10 Pro and the View 10, as they're both running the year 970 processor. Uh, the command will go through and will flash the system image and then we just need to go through here to be able to download the latest build of Lineage OS compatible with our device. And of course, here's the main link. Again, all of that will be in the description and you can download the latest builds. The other thing that we need to do is we do need to get the code for our uh, device. So the main thing you want to do here is you'll go directly to emui.huawei.com and click on the unlock tab and log in with your Huawei ID. Once you logged in, it'll route you to this page. Uh, once you're at this page, you need to get some information from your phone. First thing we need to do is to do a since EMUI 5.0, since we're running EMUI 8.0 on our Mate 10 Pro, as well as the View 10, both came with EMUI 8. Uh, it's a smartphone, it doesn't change. Product serial number, and as well as the product ID can be obtained by typing in star pound star pound 1357946 pound star pound star. You'll get both those numbers, you'll put them in. The Mate 10 Pro in the US only has one IMEI, so you'll put that in. If you are using this with a different variant of the Mate 10 or the Mate 10 Pro, just keep in mind that you need to put in the main uh, IMEI. And if that doesn't work, if all else fails, just put in the second one. And of course, put the verification code and submit the uh, option. And then you'll get a little box, a call box here that says your code is such and such. Uh, copy that code and save it. Do not lose that as that's gonna be the code that we're gonna use to unlock our device. First thing we need to do on our device, make sure we have USB debugging as well as OEM unlock turned on. Go under system, turn the developer option under the about phone by clicking on the build number about seven times. Under the build uh, developer option, turn OEM unlocking on as well as USB debugging on. Once you have these two turned on, your device should be able to communicate with your PC over ADB. ADB devices, and we can see that we have uh, we have a connected device. So the main thing that we need to do now is that we need to reboot the device into bootloader mode. You'll notice our device uh, right here has already convert, started to restart. It's gonna go into bootloader mode and we're gonna be able to go through the process of unlocking our device. Next thing we need to do is just confirm that we are connected. So fast boot devices again same thing the device is connected so we're going to go here and say fast boot oem unlock So once we're on our device, uh, just go ahead and select up or down to be able to select the unlocking of the device. Uh, and when selecting it with the red option on the selection that you want, press the power button and the device is gonna restart. Um, and then we're gonna go through and watch it just, it's gonna factory reset the device. It's gonna low level it, which means nothing is gonna be saved. And then we're gonna come back into just regular EMUI on the device. Uh, there's nothing special about it yet because after this, we need to go in and then flash our EMUI build. The only thing you need to make sure at this point is you need to go back into settings, go through the main settings uh, setup at the beginning and then just check on everything. Hit system, go again about phone and make sure you turn on developer options. And once you turn that on, go into developer options. Uh, OEM unlocking is already turned on. We don't have to worry about it, but USB debugging by default gets turned off again. So we're gonna turn it on, click okay and give it a second and you'll notice right there it's asking us to validate the system. I'm just gonna say okay. And now we'll be able to communicate with the device and go back into bootloader mode. 
Now, once you're done, you give it a few seconds, it is gonna restart. You notice your device goes back into that bootloader screen. It's that white screen that we started with when we unlocked our device. The next step we need to make sure is download the latest build available directly from the Lineage OS link. Again, the link will be in the description below. Just download the latest version on your device. For me, I already downloaded it and I have it sitting right there in my directory. It's the system 2018-225 dash or underscore 2025. So that's gonna be the build I'm gonna be flashing on my device. And the command is pretty simple. What we're gonna do is fast boot and we're gonna do flash system since we're flashing the system image and we're gonna say space I'm gonna say sys and start tabbing and again as long as I get the right one here it is 2018 225 underscore to 2025 and I'm gonna say enter and this is gonna take a little bit of time roughly about maybe four to five six minutes or so um, and so give it some time for it to finish once it's done we're gonna be able to restart the device and then go through that wipe that we need to do since we're going from stock EMUI over to a lineage OS build we do need to do a really like a low level wipe and that's only triggered after the system kind of boot loops for a couple of times so I'm gonna let it go through and we'll get back as soon as we're back uh, from this flashing process Now that we're done, uh, the next thing we need to do is just to reboot our device and wait for it to ask us to do a low level formatting. So now that we've gone through a couple of boot loops, the system rebooted us into this uh, Huawei e-recovery and it's asking us to do a data, uh, data, sorry, a factory data reset. We're going to go through this process and then after this, we should be able to actually reboot normally and boot normally actually into Lineage OS. And here we have it, uh, Lineage OS booted up. We're going to go through real quick in the setup here. I'm just going to skip through most of this. Uh, continue, we're going to say skip and I'm going to say next. Uh, the main benefit, of course, is now that we can just go ahead and go through the setup. I'm going to skip all of this, skip anyways. I'm not going to set up any password, any PIN, um, all that information, because I'm going to go ahead and set it up later as a brand new device, of course. No tanks, no additional apps needs to be downloaded in Lineage OS. So we're going to say uh, <laughs> help improve and then use on-screen navigation buttons. We're going to keep that. And then, of course, we're going to enable privacy card. I'll hit next and I'll hit start. And here you have it. It's pretty simple, uh, pretty painless actually from the sense of time. It just needs about 25 to about 20 to 30 minutes between uh, getting the code, unlocking, setting up everything and downloading all the necessary files. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, this was a quick, simple process on how to get Lineage OS. This is running the latest unofficial build on it. 15.1 on both the Mate 10 Pro, which we have here, and the Honor View 10. The most complicated part of this entire process was getting the code to unlock the, the device. Uh, once you get the code, just keep that safe. It's the same code. So if you ever have to relock the device, it's the same code that you're going to be using. Uh, and then again, just unlock your device. Of course, back up your stuff first. And once you're done unlocking it, you can go through and flash the system image as I showed you guys. And if there's an additional build, let's say a more recent build that comes out since this video, probably there'll be more builds. Uh, just download that version and then flash it over again. So you can flash those over and over as updates get pushed in. Uh, it should not require you to reset your device every single time you flash an update to Lineage OS if you're going from LOS to LOS. But if you're switching ROMs, they may need to be there. So keep that in mind and check the, uh, the original post in most of the threads as they'll explain to you if you're coming from a different ROM or if you're coming from the exact same ROM, just update it to the latest version. Uh, I'm excited to see that we have Lineage OS on both the Mate 10 Pro and the View 10. Uh, and I cannot wait to see more development, more features, more customizations uh, just come through. Lineage OS is very, very popular, very simple, very close to stock with very nice customization options. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. Like and subscribe to this channel. Like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.